I'm a lot more easygoing and down to earth and certainly less volatile than I think I'm sometimes portrayed. I believe that the NHL has a great future ahead of it and I'm committed to building the league into the future and making it a spectacular sports and entertainment focus for fans in North America and throughout the world. Well, Gary, when you face the media, you are usually asked all of the, the big burning questions about the league, but today, we're doing something different. This interview is all about you. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're in the hot seat. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, as you celebrate your 30th anniversary as commissioner of the National Hockey League, has, has it flown by? How does that feel when you hear 30? The 30 years, the three decades at the NHL, uh, it's not that it's a blur, but it went very quickly. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it has been great fun. Uh, there's nothing else I would rather have been doing or nothing I'd rather be doing. You know, over the, the last 30 years, a lot has changed about the league, but as commissioner, has your job changed? The job has is actually gotten broader. If you think back, no league had a website. Teams didn't have websites. Social media, to the extent it existed, was in its infancy. We weren't as many teams. Uh, we weren't being viewed in as many countries. I mean, the list of things that are part of the business of the game, not just the game itself, uh, and the game has changed too with the rule changes and the system we have that makes the ability of all our clubs to be competitive. None of that existed at the time. There have been a lot of fundamental changes and a lot of things that we've had to focus on that we never had to focus on before. So back in 93, um, you would have had your first opportunity to hand out the Stanley Cup as commissioner. In Montreal. In Montreal at the Forum. What do you remember about that and were you nervous? I think I was more anxious and I had to teach myself a sentence in French, right. which probably people didn't hear because of the cheering for the Canadians winning. On the 100th anniversary of the Stanley Cup, it is only fitting that it goes to the Montreal Canadiens for the 24th time. I remember taking, asking to see the Stanley Cup in private in advance so that, mm. not that we could have a conversation, but I actually wanted to feel how to lift yeah. it and what it felt like so that it would seem natural right. because I wasn't doing it for the first time. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I had a chance to personally marvel at what that amazing trophy is. And I got to look at the names. I, I got to have a private moment of appreciation before presenting it. And you know, presenting it's probably the best thing that I get to do. What do you still love about your job? And what will you not miss when you leave it? Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna miss it when I finally decide I'm gonna retire because this isn't a job, it's a lifestyle. And there isn't a day that goes by where I'm not doing something, whether it's watching a game or taking a telephone call or responding to emails or dealing with issues that arise. And you don't have the luxury of saying, well, I don't think I'm gonna deal with that or return that call today. Everything's gotta be done in real time, but that that's how we, that's how Shelly and I and the kids have functioned. And I wouldn't trade that for anything, and I will miss it. My guess is when I finally decide that it's time, or the owners decide it's time, it'll be at a point in time where the energy as a function of life and aging isn't there, and I guess I'll feel the need to slow down, but I don't feel that way now. It's been remarkable to watch what Gary has done for the NHL. As an owner, I have never been prouder of the game on and off the ice. Professionally, is there something that you will look back on and say, I was most proud about that? We're bigger than we've ever been. We're being consumed more than ever in ways that people have never imagined. And I think we've evolved and are evolving with the times. And I think 
you know, the status quo doesn't work. The status quo, you fall backwards. It's about looking forward and building an organization. Uh, I'm grateful for all the people that have worked with me at the league. The teams have been sensational. The support I've gotten from ownership over the years is, is incredible. And being a part of a game that has the best fans in all the sports, to me, has made this and continues to make this a gratifying experience.